Good evening, everyone. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing game recap for tonight, let's pause for a moment of silence to remember former Prime Minister of England, Margaret Thatcher, and also to one of the original Mickey Mouse Club Mouseketeers, Annette Funicello. Prime Minister Thatcher was 87 years old. She passed away today after complications of a stroke. And for Annette Funicello, she passed away at the age of 70 years old after a long battle with multiple scoliosis. Rest in peace to both ladies. The Price is Right pricing game recap may contain profanity toward the contestants' decision making in pricing games that can be categorized as either stupid or being misled by the audience that's portrayed as a heel for entertainment purposes only. In reality, Mr. Horgan doesn't show any prejudice toward the contestants based on their gender, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for Monday, the 8th of April, 2013. Here are the pricing games that were played today to start the week. Pushover, Pay the Rent, Lucky 7, Switch, Pathfinder, and Most Expensive. Joseph, a service engineer for a cool company, as he put it, who is from Salt Lake City, was the first contestant. He played pushover for a chance to win a trip to Kauai, Hawaii. That includes a six-night stay in a one-bedroom garden view suite at the Kauai Coast Resort. Plus, an action-filled tour that includes paddleboarding on the water and zip line. Modeled by the terrific Tiffany Coyne from Let's Make a Deal. It was a very nice surprise to see her on the show today, and I must say, she looked very, very hot in that dress she was in. <laughs> Alright. Joseph's starting push price was $265 with a zero in front. Joseph pushed a second time, making the price $3,026. He pushed a third time, making the price $4,302. He pushed a Fourth time, making the price $1,430. And he pushed the fifth time, making the price $7,143. And that's when he stopped. So he pushed a total of five times with four blocks going over. He felt really confident on his choice. And I have to say, I was feeling good on this price myself. $7,143. So, when Drew revealed the actual retail price of the trip to Hawaii... It was seven thousand one forty three. Joseph is on his way to Hawaii, and I say to that bra, Aloha. Nancy from Sugar Creek, Ohio, was the second contestant. She played pay the rent for a chance to win up to one hundred thousand dollars. The marvelous Manuel Arbelias was inside the house where she would place the grocery items in the counter stove, TV and bathtub, and the sink. And Tiffany modeled the grocery products as well as placing the one product in the mailbox. Here's what Nancy chose to be placed in where. First, she chose the 8 ounce container of Progresso Italian style breadcrumbs in the mailbox. 
Then she chose the Tortillas Bite Size Tortilla Chips and the 64 ounce bottle of Fruit Juicy Red Hawaiian Punch placed in the couch and stove. She then chose the Golbon Ultimate Healing Lotion with Aloe and the Shift Digestive Advantage for the TV and the bathtub, leaving the Icy Hot Advanced Relief Pain Relief Patch to be placed in the safe. So now, let's see if we can get ourselves our first $100,000 winner in Pay the Rent. Now, to start off, how much were those breadcrumbs? I will tell you that they were worth $1.49. Nancy had $1,000. She decided to keep on going for $5,000. And Drew felt pretty sure this was a safe bet, and honestly, it definitely was. The price of those uh, Tostitos chips? $3.99. Plus the Hawaiian punch was $1.99 for a total of $5.98. Nancy had $5,000 in her pocket, and she decided to go for $10,000. Once again, I felt this was indeed a safe bet to risk the money here. Okay, the price of the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Lotion with Aloe was $7.18. And the Ship Digestive Advantage was $16.99. Ooh. For a total of $24.17. Well, at this point, Nancy decided to take the $10,000 and quit, and needless to say, that certainly was indeed a wise choice. Now, would she have won $100,000? I doubt it, but you never know how much these grocery products can be on the Price is Right. The price of the Icy Hot Advanced Relief Pain Relief Packs was... $7.49. She made the right choice by taking the $10,000, and that will go down as an actual win. But we are still, still wishing for that $100,000 to be won in Pay the Rent. Hopefully it will be done before this season ends. But $10,000 is still a nice amount of money to go home with. Cammy from San Diego who was celebrating her 30th birthday on the tape date of today's episode, was the third contestant. She played Lucky 7 for a chance to win a Honda Accord LX that had Tiffany in the driver's seat. The first number of the price of the car was... 2. For the second number, Tammy believed that it was 4. And the actual second number was... A two cost her two dollars. Double two. For the third number, she believed that it was seven. And the actual third number was... A seven! Exactly right! Now, for the fourth number, she believed that it was five as most of the audience was telling her that number. The actual fourth number was... A nine! Cost her four dollars! Ooh, that has to hurt! So she had one dollar left, which meant she had to get it exactly right. She believed the last number was six. And the actual last number in the price of the Honda Accord LX was a one. The actual retail price was $22,791. Roy from Dayton, Ohio was the fourth contestant. He played Switch for a chance to win these two prizes. 
a 30 inch DCS propane gas grill that has a push button ignition system and features ceramic radiant technology for intense even heat modeled by Manuel and a beachcomber hot tub hot tub that seats up to five adults modeled by Tiffany and I have to say I wish she was wearing a bikini while modeling that hot tub also, uh, going naked wouldn't be so bad either. <laughs> okay, the gas grill was priced at $3,668, and the hot tub was priced at $4,295. Roy decided to leave the prices the way they were, and I felt really good on that. So when Manuela and Tiffany revealed the actual retail prices of the two prizes, it turned out that Roy... WAS A WINNER! He was right to not switch the prices, and his total winnings were $7,963 for both prizes. Maya, a licensed cosmetologist from Fresno, California, was the fifth contestant. She played Pathfinder for a chance to win a Chevrolet Sonic LS modeled by Tiffany. The first number in the price of the car that Maya stepped on was... 1. Now, Manuela modeled the three small prizes, which were the following. A stand mixer that has a powerful 400 watt motor and 12 speed settings. A 3.4 ounce bottle of Chanel No. 5 Eau de Toilette Spray. And a Breville Mini Pint. Now for the second number, Maya stepped to the 6 on her right instead of the 8 on her left. The 7 in front of her or the nine behind her. Was six the second number? Yes, it was. So she got that right. Now for the third number, she stepped to the nine in front of her and not the two on her right or the seven behind her. Was nine the third number? Mm-mm. It was not. So now it was time to go to a do-over. She first went to the stand mixer. She believed that it was $250 and not $199. Manuela revealed the price of the stand mixer to be $250. She got that right. So now she had another chance to go to the third number. This time she chose the seven and not the two. Was seven the third number? Yes, it was. Now, for the fourth number, she went to the five behind her and not the eight on her right or the nine on her left. Was five the fourth number? No, it was not. Now she went to the 3.4 ounce bottle of Chanel No. 5 Eau de Toilette Spray. She believed that it was $90 and not $120. Manuela revealed the price of the Chanel No. 5 Spray to be $90. That was indeed correct. Now, she stepped to the 8 and not the 9. Was eight the fourth number? Yes, it was. And now, it all came down to the last number. It was either the two in front of her or the four behind her. Maya went to the four behind her and not the two in front of her. The audience was chanting four. Did they mislead Maya? Or did they 
lead her into a victory? Well, let me answer that question right now. Was four the last number in the price of the car? It was! The actual retail price, $16,784. We got ourselves a winner in Pathfinder. And she also won the stand mixer and the eau de toilette spray, totaling $340. So Maya won herself $17,124 in car and small prizes. All right. Tamara, who has homes in Iowa City, Iowa, and Westland, Oregon, home state of I-264 shirt. She mentioned in the second showcase showdown that she used to be a personal trainer for Jazzercise. She was the sixth and final contestant. She played most expensive for a chance to win these three prizes. A Kimco Mongoose 90 ATV that has a CVT automatic transmission and a four-stroke engine modeled by Tiffany. A 50-inch Panasonic 3D HDTV that features unique technology that converts 2D images into high-quality 3D images in real time with two pairs of glasses included modeled by Manuela. And a front load washer and electric dryer where the washer has a direct inject wash system in five temperature settings. And the dryer has 13 automatic cycles. Modeled by the goofy George Gray. Camera believed that the washer and dryer was the most expensive prize. Let's see if she was right. First, Tiffany revealed the price of the ATV. And it was... $2,399. Next, Manuela revealed the price of the HDTV, and it was $1,259. So now, it all came down to George. If he revealed the price of the washer and dryer to be more than $2,399, Tamara would win all three prizes. And she and her son, she actually has more than one son, would do push-ups if she won. So when George revealed the actual retail price of the washer and dryer, it was... Well, before he revealed what it was, uh, George told Tamara that she had to have... Her son do push-ups because the washer and dryer was $3,198. So as members of Tamara's family came up on stage doing push-ups, including herself, Tamara won all three prizes totaling $6,856. Now it's time for the acknowledgement. According to Ben Mason Television, in his quote, the $16.99 Shift Digestive Advantage Supplement has now become the most expensive product used in Taylorant to date. Yours truly looked it up. Now I just hope the infamous $31.99 Shift Move Free Supplement will ever appear in pay the rent. If it does, save that one for the attic, ladies and gentlemen. Good advice. Also in quotes of Ben Mason Television, I don't mean to be superstitious, but Tiffany Coin from another game show, you know which one, showed up on The Price is Right. So that's at least two people I know from whose line is it anyway that Tiffany has worked with. Tiffany did make appearances during season 39 of TPIR, just to let you all know. And to end Ben Mason Television's acknowledgments, no Rob, no Amber, no respect. Quoting the great Rodney Dangerfield with, I get no respect. Uh, the only camera time Rob got was in the 3D television, in Most Expensive. Speaking of which, 
Tamara and her friends do push-ups following the big win. And a 49-64 shirt, Tiffany from Let's Make a Deal was on the show today. She handed Drew the microphone and modeled a couple of things. Nancy looks a lot like Sandra Bullock. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. With last two digits like 9 and 1, I suggest that next time we play cover-up for that car. Well, the last two digits were 2 and 4. I'm not quite sure where I'm 264 sure to pick that up, but uh, maybe he could clear that up in a comment. Anyway, uh, holy cow, what a win in Pathfinder! That is a very tough game, as you might observe. Yeah, it can be a bit tedious, but you know what? Uh, it's definitely doable to win, as Maya showed us today. So congrats to her. And after Tamara won most expensive, she and her friends did some push-ups. Actually, we've seen something like that before. Yes, we have. A few years ago, I believe during season 38, a member of the United States Armed Forces won himself uh, a car and money game, and he and Drew did push-ups after the win. So there you go. Alright, so to start off this week, we had four pricing games won. They were in Pushover, Switch, Pathfinder, and Most Expensive. We also gave away the two small prizes in Pathfinder, which were the Stand Mixer and the Eau de Toilette Spray from Chanel No. 5, plus a total of $11,000. Nancy won herself $10,000 in Pay the Rent, and Maya won $1,000 in Showcase Showdown No. 2. So, Joseph, Nancy, Roy, Maya, and Tamara are all named the MVPs of The Price is Right. And Maya had a really great day for herself, folks. She also won her showcase, which included... Ah, a trip to Disneyland. That is a chauffeured limo driven round trip from LA to Anaheim and includes a one day park hopper pass. A trip to London, England that includes a six night stay in an aloft room at the Aloft London XL with daily breakfast included. The trips to Disneyland and London were modeled by Manuela and a 13 foot 3 inch Boston Whaler 130 Super Sport Boat. That features a bow cushion, a cooler with seat cushion, swivel bucket seats, and a 40 horsepower Mercury engine. Trailer included, modeled by Tiffany. Maya bid $25,000 on her showcase. The actual retail price was $25,000. 751 for a difference of $751. Really great bid. Uh, Maya won a grand total in cash and prizes of, let me just get to it, $44,575 in cash and prizes, just so let you all know once again. Okay, now, on to this week's sponsor. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap is provided by Band-Aid Brand Adhesive Bandages. Band-Aid. You're going to be just fine. Now, tomorrow, as I was watching Let's Make a Deal today, that... There will be a special law enforcement episode of The Price is Right. So, who will be doing the recap for that? Will it be me? Will it be Sports Sci-Fi 28? Or Martin S5 1989? Or I264 shirt? Or Money 7373? Depending on if the pricing means they want to recap get played. Oh, and just to let you all know, this upcoming Wednesday will be a rerun. So I will be doing a retro pricing and recap with Ben Mason Television then. Alright, so that's going to wrap things up for me 
on the Price is Right Pricing and Recap for tonight. This is Mr. Oregon reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night.